Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm picking up pretty much right where I left off at the end of the last video. I am continuing along as I was with the switched outlets. I have another box in place and the wire over to there as well. I needed to get a few more supplies, but now I'm ready to just continue along this way. Once again, I'm going to stop one somewhere in the middle here and then another down in the corner. So right now I just have a little bit of time to work, so I'm going to see how far I get and I'll check in with you guys. Alright you guys, so just to update, I do have wire into everything now so far. This end one is where I'm going to stop for now. I may continue down this way later, but I don't have any plans to do anything there right now, so I'm just going to stop here. And now I'm going to go ahead and get outlets popped into all of these. So you just watched the last outlet go in. I have all four that I still had left done now. So I think the next step is to go down and tie it in above the orchid. I'm probably going to have to pull the fan down to get enough elbow room, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so I have everything tied together. The orchid is back up. Over here I've plugged this light into this outlet for now. I will have to rework that at some point. But right now I'm ready to reveal my idea for this corner. I am going to put my east view up there. It'll be the perfect fan to put a little bit of light up in that corner. And this one also takes up a ton of space no matter how I store it. So having it as a piece of the display is actually going to free up a lot of space for me. I've already measured it out a little bit. It will mount exactly to the bottom of this truss and fit in the corner perfectly. So I'm gonna get it put up. It should just be really quick and simple and I will be back to show you the result. Alright, so here's the finished product. I'll turn the lights on and the fan. So I'm happy with this as a starting point. I'm probably going to put more lighting in as I go, but this really puts out a nice soft light for that corner. It feels much less cave-like, and I am super happy to have that fan off of the table out here. So that's where I'm going to wrap up for now. I'm not sure if I'm going to be working on the other corner next or something else, but I will see you back here soon for more. Hey you guys, so I am back working on this other corner behind me. My plan for that corner is this weathered copper 19th century. I've really been wanting to find a way to put a 19th century up on display. That was another motivation for getting this particular 19th century up and working. I did also have this installation in the back of my mind when I converted that fan to the 99019 control system. The 99019 system returns the lights to their previous setting when power is reapplied. So like the orchid and the east view that I've already put up, the lights will come on when I turn on the switch for the switched outlets. So right now all I've done is put in a brace and I've got the hang true up. I wanted to work through this initial layout myself in case this wasn't going to work out as I wanted it to, but so far we're looking good so I'm going to proceed with putting the fan together. Here is the finished product. I got light bulbs in and got it plugged in. I've got the remote here right now, but I am mounting these controls for both the East View and the 19th century over here by the Orchid one, so they'll all be conveniently placed right here. But really, I shouldn't need them very often because if I kill the power, everything will come back on just as it was. 
This was really all I was trying to accomplish tonight. I've been very eager to get this fan up. Next I'm going to be playing around with some arrangements of furniture and things in this corner. I may mess around with that a little bit yet tonight. If something significant results I will check back in. All right so just a closing update. I shifted this antique table under the fan which I think works perfectly. I just wanted to show you what it looks like now. I'm probably going to cover it up to protect it and then move some of the ceiling fans out from the other room and set them on here. I'm looking into hanging some unistrut back here finally, but I have to clear all of this out of the way before I can even put it up. So being able to shift some of these out to the other area will allow me the access I need to the ceiling. So now I am going to wrap it up for tonight. I will see you back here soon. I am back. I've been ignoring the vlog just a little bit. I've had a lot of stuff going on the past week or so, so I just haven't had a lot of time over here. I have been working on a few things kind of in the areas that we've been focusing on so far in this video, but it's also been kind of just playing around with a few things and seeing how they work. So I've actually already done and redone a few things in the time that I've been off camera, and I anticipated doing that, you know, maybe not liking everything that I did the first try. I know some people really do like to see the evolution of my ideas. Right now it's just been a lot of moving things back and forth, shuffling around. So I decided to just take a little bit of a step back from the video to avoid just filming the same things over and over again. As I start to set up more displays and things, I'm working towards keeping them that way longer term. So now it's a little bit more important to figure out what exactly I want to do to get it right and leave things as they are for a little bit and not have to change them again for a while. Right now I'm kind of at a point though where I figured out the next few steps that I want to do. So I'm bringing you back in, we're going to get all caught up with where I'm at, and I will try to keep you updated with the next few things I'm implementing. So I'm going to take you back to where I was talking about moving fans to put up the Unistrut. I got some of those moved out of the way, so I'll just give you an update on what it looks like back here. So you can see the great majority of what was sitting here is moved out of the way. I've moved this shelf back here because I've implemented something else where it was sitting out in the other area. I'll show you that in a minute, but it's on wheels, so it's super easy to move out of the way if I want to work back here. So I will take you back out and I'll show you where I put those fans for now. Essentially everything I moved is stacked up out here. The others will likely end up out here too, but I'm hoping we can fold up this crib that my sister wanted to keep and get it out of the way to gain some space. I don't want to stack everything out here and lock it in place where we can't get to it. While we're in this corner, I will show you that I put up my Regency Countess with the 27 inch blades. This gap between the 19th century and the Thomas was really kind of bothering me but it definitely had to be a very small fan in order to fit in with this original. So right now it's just kind of temporary in place with an extension cord. I just put it up to see how it fits here. And I believe I've already changed my mind, and this one is probably going to end up somewhere else. I will show you that in just a minute as well. I wasn't sure what kind of space I was going to have between the original. I have a little bit of space to work with, so I think I'm going to swap this one out with my 29-inch Emerson Northwind. I have it sitting here ready to go, I just haven't done anything with it yet. And for that, I will likely extend over another switched outlet in proximity of this location that that fan can plug into. So I'll shut this off and show you where I think I'm going to put that Regency. You can see I've moved this china cabinet over and there's some display stuff going on. I'll show you more of that next, but it kind of creates this little bit of dead space between the orchid and the cabinet itself, but I also don't really want anything hanging down super low in this space. So being that I can flush mount the Regency, I think I'm going to move it over here. It'll be perfect to take up this space, but it won't be visually overwhelming. So that little swap with the Northwind and the Countess will be coming up soon. So now the final part of my update right now is the extension of display that I've done along this wall. I've done slight revamping to this shelf. It's pretty much exclusively catalogs now inside. I've put in some of my freshly arrived Casablanca brochures and just spread things out a little more. I ended up needing the small fans that were here before to fill out another section of the display further down, so I used that as an opportunity to spread things out a little bit more here so that you could see them better. So moving over over from that, this Dayton fan is just kind of a little bit of filler. I sort of got everything else further down positioned and had a space between this shelf and the cabinet next to it, so I filled it in with whatever fit. Next I have this cabinet, which was previously on the opposite wall. I converted it to use LED tape lights. The incandescent light it had before just didn't do much for the inside display aspect, and the housing kind of obstructed the top fan, so I made the switch to better feature the fans. On 
on top I have my Emerson 19646. This one used to be on the top shelf over here and again I've filled in its place and where that cabinet was sitting is just empty space for now. The reason I moved this over here is the cord for the LED tape lights was too short to make it up to the switched outlets so what I did was fasten an extension cord to the bottom of the cabinet so that the lights can plug into it but it also leaves a spare outlet so that I can power a fan sitting on top. So I was really happy with how this turned out. Above it you can see I've hung this print. It used to be over by the desk so it needed a new home and this location worked out perfectly for it. Next is the china cabinet. You can see I've featured some mostly plastic stuff on top. Inside is just some of my cleaner examples of older fans. Nothing particularly special but since they're not all dusty right now I might as well keep them clean inside of here. Again I also converted this to use the LED tape lights. You could barely tell the difference between on and off with the old incandescent light. And then finally we have this shelf. This shelf unit has just kind of been sitting out in the garage not really doing anything. I wasn't sure if I was ever going to use it or not. Usually it comes down to whether the fans actually fit within the adjustability of the shelf itself. But when I actually started laying these out they started falling into place perfectly so it worked out really great. It's mostly older fans but on the bottom I had some extra space so there's a little bit of plastic on here as well and this Sears box fan with the stand fit perfectly on top and I actually have this one plugged in to come on with the switched outlets as well but I usually don't leave the power on for it. There's no integral lighting with this shelf or anything. It will likely be lit by future track spotlights. I haven't really planned that far ahead yet. So I think that's most of what I've been working with. Like I said I've arranged and rearranged things over here a few times already. It's been a little bit of tedious stuff just trying to get things where I want them to be but now we should be getting back to some more interesting stuff so I will see you back here soon for more. Hey everybody I'm back for another night. It's a little bit questionable with how far I'm going to get but I'm going to start by moving the Regency Countess over by the Orchid and then we'll see where I'm at after that. Well here it is in place. I meant to record a little bit more of this process but it's such a quick little move that there wasn't really much to show but I do really like how it fits in here. So now down at this end I mainly just have to get power in for the Emerson. I was just noticing I have a pipe that kind of ends up in the way of where I wanted to put my boxes all the way along. So I'm going to have to figure out placement now. I guess I will likely end up just going right next to the fan somewhere. And if I do want to continue any more down I'll just have to keep them going down this same truss. Not exactly ideally what I wanted but I'll have to make it work. So just a progress update here. I have wire coming over to where I'm going to put my box and while I really dislike going back and redoing things I did move this box over onto the same truss just really for the sake of continuity little details like that really bother me. So now I just need to get my box in with the outlet and then we'll be ready to assemble the fan. Outlet is in I'm gonna get to putting the fan together. Alright so my batteries died right at the end of the last clip. I forgot to put my second set in the charger so I had no batteries left. While I waited for some to charge up I finished the installation. I think I did make the right decision in moving the Regency with the down rod. This fan is at kind of a matching height similar to the others. I didn't want the fan in that location to be tucked up and hard to see from further back. The north wind does make itself a little bit more visible in that regard. I also keep forgetting to mention that this globe on the original is just temporary. I put it on when my sister was in town in case it got bumped with something and accidentally broken. I'd rather lose one of these generic ones than the nice Kitchler one. 
So with that, the display is really filling out. This area is really the last place where I could hang something else. I'm not sure if I will or won't. It kind of depends on what other display materials that will go in this space. Right now I don't have plans to really do anything here yet. So we'll have to wait and find out how that works out. I was just getting ready to wrap up, but I wanted to do one more thing. I am back at the Regency right now. Normally I'm not that guy who adjusts capacitor values. I just usually don't really have that much interest in doing it. But since I don't have the steeper pitch blade arms to slow this fan down a little bit, I did go back in and adjust this one to have a little bit more of an aesthetic low speed. I took a guess throwing in a three microfarad capacitor, thinking that would be a good starting point. And luckily enough, it turned out pretty much perfectly on my first try. I like how it turned out. It is much slower, but it's still functional. So now I think that concludes all of the fine-tuning I'm going to be doing with these little fans. So with that, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. As always, thank you all so much for watching today. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so that you get notifications every time that I post. Thank you for being here, and I will see you next time. Click left to watch my last vlog, or click right for the entire shop vlog playlist so that you can start at the beginning.